Hey everyone, this is a film by Andre. Ah, 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 ah. Before you comment on what happened to my face, go check out my last video. During on one of my adventures outside, I got sunburned. That's why my skin is still a bit red and it's spilling out. Some days ago, I looked like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and it's not even Christmas yet. Anyway, this video is about my vintage camera collections and some stories on how I acquired them. This one is made out of cardboard. It's not a real, um, a real camera though. But yeah. Pretty much all of them are here for decorational purposes, but that's beyond the point. Before I begin, I just want to tell you that it's okay for a minimalist to own a collection, a small one of items that you really care about. It's actually good for your creativity and your productivity to be surrounded by items that you find inspirational. Mine just happen to be vintage cameras. No. I'm not a big minimalist guy, but I'm trying. Okay, the cameras. My first addition to this collection was this fully manual SLR Shinon CM4S from 1982. I bought it from another collector on eBay just for 30 euros. I was apprehensive because I have big trust issues regarding privately sold items on the internet, but the transaction and the delivery went smoothly. I got into film photography the day after, bought a couple of basic Fujicolor 2 hundreds and shot some of these pictures. Unfortunately, after a year of usage, the mirror got stuck upwards and after studying the problem, I just gave up repairing it and immediately after, I bought my second manual SLR camera. The Pentax MX from 1980 while visiting the local Madeira Optics Museum or Museu de Ótica da Madeira. It's a much better built camera and it's currently my main film camera ever since I bought it back in 2018. I've been absent from film photography for a while but I want to develop my own roles at home. If you want to join me on that adventure, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like that. Just because I really love these cameras, I also have an Olympus OM-10 from 1979. A friend of mine gave it to me while searching an old storehouse. Thanks again, mate. Canon EOS 600 or 630 in the US from 1989 is the only Canon camera I own. It's mainly just decorative for me, but it's actually working, though never tested. Apparently, I have an Akira FMD knockoff. A Polo FMD system Moro drive from the 90s. It doesn't work, but I like the design. It has two viewfinders, one normal one-way window, and a classic waist-level viewfinder on top. These cute point-and-shoot cameras from the early 2000s, Fujifilm Nexia 239Z. Wow! What a name. And an active AF400S. With red eye reduction. I love me some Polaroids ever since I discovered the work of Andy Warhol. I don't own any Polaroid cameras, just these glasses over here. Polaroid, you can sponsor me anytime. No problem. I got you. I have this Kodak EK200 from 1980 given to me by another friend that found it lying around. The only problem is that PR10 cartridges are rare and very expensive, so I just keep it on the shelf along with these retro EDS controllers. For some instantaneous action, I use this new Fujifilm Instax whenever I want to immortalize a memory. For some video action, I got a Super H Shinon 359 from 1969. I bought it locally and it came along with a Kodachrome 40 cartridge. Filled it with some behind the scenes from one of my short films, but I've yet to convert it to DVD. Also, I used it as a prop on another short film I produced. VHS represent? Got this Ferguson Videostar VHS camera. I never used it. And I'm pretty sure the battery is completely dead, but I, I just think it's amazing to have it around. The same friend that gave me the Kodak gave me this one as well. Hashtag blessed. And the final one is... A Canon MV 630i camcorder. This bad boy, or is it bad girl, has been in the family for years. I have lots of childhood memories in these tiny mini DV tapes. The aesthetic is very nostalgic. I hope you liked my small but very special vintage camera collection. If you have some interesting ones, please share down below in the comments and tell us why is it so special to you. I gotta go find some more cameras and add it to my shelf and maybe, just maybe, get some emails from Polaroid. Stay cool!